coming to you with a video that I think will help out a lot of you guys who may be in need of some tips for a music festival. I've been to quite a number of music festivals and I absolutely love them. I think they're incredible and I'm getting really excited to just talk about this topic. I'm going to go through a whole list of things with you guys that you should probably consider before going to a music festival. Most of these things, yeah, have been learnt as I went. I learnt the hard way. <laughs> I have a little list. Tip number one for a music festival. Prior organization. It is so, so important to just be organized. Best thing you could possibly do is just make lists, like write down stuff before you're leaving so then you make sure like you've packed everything you need, you've got everything that you want to take. Don't forget important stuff that you need, aka a tent, Izzy Fisher. <laughs> My friend forgot a freaking tent to go camping at a festival for a week and luckily old C Mal here had a spare one to chuck all of my clothes and stuff into and um, so she ended up sleeping in that. Best way of organization you can have with your friends is like make a Facebook group. When you're planning for your festival like you've got a group where you can all chat and like talk if you guys are doubling up on stuff that you don't need to bring like how you're getting there what your plans are. Communication with your friends is really important as well so then you make sure everyone's organized and they're onto their stuff because the worst thing to have is you're all organized and then your other friend or friends or whoever is just so not with it and bringing the team down. You don't need that. Plan your outfits ahead of time. Like if you know you're going to a three day music festival say plan out day one, day two, day three like you can alternate between whatever days you wear them but if you have your outfits kind of sorted you won't overpack. Okay that's like totally a lie. I had most of my outfits planned before I went and I packed a ridiculous suitcase and I'm very ashamed of myself but don't be like me and don't do that because then you have to walk through the freaking um, campsites with a big old suitcase and you just look like a bit of a loser. No shame. If you plan your outfits or you have a rough idea, you won't overpack because you don't want to take massive bags. It's just a pain. Especially if you're walking everywhere, you have to catch buses and it's just... Anyways, even if you guys bring a few extra pairs of clothes and stuff, you and your friends can like alternate clothing and just make up weird outfits or rewear stuff. No one really cares at all what you wear. Just as long as you feel good, then you'll radiate some positive, nice feels about yourself and people will be like, what a cool chick, what a cool dude. This is applies for men and women. We are not uh, gender biased here. No, no. Point two. This only applies if you're planning on camping at a festival, which I highly recommend you do camp. If it has the option of camping, it makes the experience so much more crazy, so much more unique and really different and fun. But if that's not your cup of tea, then you can just rent out a house or whatever you want to do. Say you are camping. Uh, Make sure you prepare for like all types of weather. Music festivals are usually planned in just really weird weather times. Like for me with Falls Festival, the whole week before Falls it was just raining non-stop and we got there and it was perfect weather but it was so hot I cannot even express to you I was dying like some nights you'll wake up and it'll just be pouring down rain. Like you need to be really onto it with the weather stuff. Pack um, tarps so then you can put them over your tents and over like your food and stuff. Make sure you have like a big canopy set up thing so you can put everything under it. Make sure you have raincoat, umbrella, warm clothes, cool clothes, clothes you can get dirty in, gum boots. Don't forget gum boots. It's just kind of like... Make sure you have a few, or like not a few, but like at least two good pairs of shoes you can wear. Your feet are going to get so sore. So make sure you have like a backup pair of shoes or lots of band-aids or really tough feet that can uh, withstand the pain because... I always end up with a million blisters after music festivals. Okay, next thing, money. Make sure you've planned ahead and you have enough money. Once I've paid for my ticket, I try and save up at least a few hundred dollars that I can have all in cash to bring to the festival. Most places won't take FPOS or anything, so make sure you have cash on you. Um, don't keep all of your money on you when you go listen to bands. Keep most of your money in a separate wallet in your suitcase with your tent locked or whatever. I would normally each night like that we'd go or each day that we'd go out to the festival I'd bring enough money for me to get some food and just like back up money if I wanted to buy drinks or something. So that's for like bringing money but in regards to 
how much you should be spending on a festival, try and keep it as cheap as possible. This is what I do, like festivals can get really, really, really expensive. So just try and keep everything cheap. Bring all of your food from home, like make sure you have enough food, like think of cheap meals you can make at the campsite. Don't go spending a whole lot of money on the food from like buying it from um, actually at the festival. Even though it's really yummy and like you're walking past, you can smell it, you're like resist. What I would do is I would eat like the food that I brought from home like during the day and then at night time I would have like one hot meal and that would cost like almost 20 bucks because it was just so expensive. So that's what I would do. I didn't end up spending that much money at Fools for example like because I just did that. If buying one drink from a festival is like nine, ten dollars and it's just like so um, if you can just organize like sneaking in alcohol. I don't sound like I probably shouldn't be saying that but Sneak a little hint, uh, just do it. Lots of people do it. It's not hard at all, especially if you're camping. Just Google like ways to sneak in alcohol places. There are many creative ideas you can uh, try. Tip number four, bring a, ow, it's not nice, ow. Bring a portable phone charger. It's really, really hard, especially when you're camping at music festivals to charge electronics. What they will normally have is a thing called locker boxes. It comes with a like, phone charger. So what I would do was I would have a portable phone charger that I would charge at night time and then I'd grab it in the morning, keep it in my bag during the day so I wouldn't have to keep going back to the locker box. It's important, it's probably like one of the main things you want to bring. It's really important to have a phone on you at a festival because if you lose your friends, it's really hard to find them normally because there's so many people and it's not fun when you get lost by yourself at a music festival and you're walking around for hours trying to find them. Well, it can be fun, like, it depends. <laughs> Whatever, like, but I always like to have my phone charged so I can keep in contact with everyone, take cool photos, Snapchats, etc, etc. Tip number five. Get creative with your camping area and with your outfits. Like, just in general, get creative. Um, music festivals are an awesome time where you can be really self-expressive. You can do whatever the hell you want, pretty much. It's just, like, an area of free self-expression, which is why I love them the most. Anything goes, no one's gonna judge you for it, so um, get funky with your outfits. If you wanna wear something really crazy or you've always wanted to do something with an outfit or a look or a costume sort of thing, just do it. Some people just look absolutely incredible at music festivals. Like, I get so much fashion inspiration of people by watching like what they pair together and like everyone comes up with the coolest Things. So you definitely wouldn't be out of place if you rocked some really funky outfit. I'm trying to think of more stuff off the top of my head about music festivals that you guys probably should know. Um, some people hate them, some people love them. I think what you just have to do is before you go to one is just get your headspace in like this element of kind of just like whatever, let's just have fun. Like whatever happens, happens. Kind of like a whirlwind, like a, a, a big three day, four day whirlwind. <laughs> where you're like non-stop, you're gonna be tired and exhausted by the end, but you will meet so many cool people, you'll have so many profound experiences that they're all so worth it. I think everyone should go to music festivals at least once in their life. They are so much fun. Um, there are some big ones coming up if you guys live in Australia that you might wanna know about if you don't already know about them, but there's one coming up called Groove in the Moo which is held all across Australia in kind of random places and that's just a one day festival but for example like what you could do this is what I'm doing with my friends we're going to the Groove in the Moon which is in Maitland in New South Wales and we live in well, Quint, Brisbane obviously so what we're planning on doing is making it kind of like a three day thing so we're gonna make it into like a road trip so that it's worth the one day festival thing since there's no camping there we're getting a massive group of friends together and going to leave on a Thursday morning road trip for that day, stop off at a beach along the coastline in New South Wales, camp there the night or sleep on a beach, I'm not really sure. We don't really have money to book accommodation so kind of winging it there and then we'll drive for the next day on Friday, do the same thing. Um, and then on Saturday morning, finally get to Maitland and go to Groove on the Move for the day and then sleep in the car and then drive back to Brisbane. But that's what we're doing for that. Um, so you just have to kind of get creative with stuff like that and make it more of an adventure for yourself. It's so much more fun when you can kind of like do a road trip version. So yes, everyone's been asking me what Groove in the Moon I'm going to and I'm going to Maitland. So if any of you guys are going, let me know. I'll probably see you guys around there having a good old time. And 
We can all have like a jig together. When I was younger, I used to watch like all of these older girls going to music festivals and I'd be like, oh my god, like this looks so freaky and so cool at the same time. And I was so intimidated to go to them. And then I went and I was like, I don't know why I was nervous. These people are amazing. Like the people you meet at music festivals, God bless their souls. I love them. They're the coolest people. They're all such chillers, like they don't really care and they're just having a good time with their friends and I love it. I hope you guys got a bit of an insight or my tips were helpful. They're kind of the ones that I like to follow before I'm going to a music festival. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're going to Groove in the Moo, let me know. I'm really excited. Hopefully I can meet a lot of you guys there. It's going to be a very, very, very fun time and yay! I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Oh, there's a cat in the bush there. I wish my backdrop was this. Damn it, I should have hung it up for this video. Rude. My camera never ever decides to focus properly and then I end up sitting there while filming a whole video and it doesn't.